day and welcome to today's construction class. My name is Uluwa Tumbi Blessing or Lalekon, the founder of MyGetech. Today we will be considering the problem as displayed on the screen using Autodesk Inventor CAD. The very first thing is I'm going to uh, create uh, the uh, the eye end, yeah, which is my part one. So I'm going to click on Start to the Sketch. Pick uh, my YZ plane. You can actually pick any of the plane, all right? Picking my YZ plane, I'm going to pick a uh, circle. All right, starting from the origin, I'm drawing a circle of diameter 60. Enter then uh, from that same midpoint. All right, from that same origin, diameter 30. Enter. So after doing that, after doing that, I'm going to pick uh, my line. Okay, I'm going to draw a line like this in this manner. Okay, I'm going to pick hidden line. Okay, from the center, I'm going to extend down like this. Then switch showing off my heading line. I'm going to pick symmetric constraint. I'm going to pick this, this, and that center line. Okay, that is it. So picking my dimension, I'm going to make this area mark of uh, 33 mm as displayed in the question. All right, and the whole length of this is going to be 120 as displayed on the uh, question. Also, all right. So after doing that, what is the next procedure? I'm going to actually pick a line. So the thin end here from the center there down here like this and like this i'm going to create this then i'm going to dimension this as well as 15 enter all right so this we are not giving dimension for this thing length. so let me just use something maybe 30 enter okay with this i'm going to uh finish my sketch okay finishing my sketch i'm going to actually tilt this object like this all right so tilting it like this i'm going to pick my extrude command I'm going to extrude this at the height of 36. Then I'm going to make it what symmetric. Then what? Okay. Then I'm going to what? Uh, share my sketch. All right. I'm going to click on extrude also. Picking this at height of 33. Then what? Uh, symmetry. Then what? Okay. Then with my uh, sorry, with my revolve, I'm going to pick my revolve. All right. I'm going to pick this. I'm going to pick my axis. So see, I'm going to actually place my line now. I'm going to pick this edge here. All right, then what? Okay. So after doing that, let me hide uh, this dimension. Stop waiting. I don't need it. So the next thing is to actually click on this surface. Click on start to the sketch. Okay. So I'm going to click on project geometry. Click on this face. Then what? Okay. Then I'm going to actually pick my line. Okay. With my line, I'm going to actually draw this something like this. All right. So picking my dimension, I'm going to dimension here to this edge that's a distance of uh 45 enter so i'm going to make this height here uh 33 that will be 11 enter then i'm going to pick a fillet fillet of a radius uh 11 yeah radius 11 enter okay then i'm going to uh finish my sketch so finishing my sketch i'm going to pick revolve with my revolve, I'm going to pick this. I'm going to pick my axis. I'm going to select this edge here. And I'm going to click on what? On uh, cut. All right. Then what? Okay. So having it in this manner like this, I'm going to pick my. Okay. So I'm going to pick my uh, cylindrical pattern. Okay. I'm going to pick this shape here. I'm going to pick axis. I'm going to pick this circle. Then I'm going to write four on the inside of this place. Then what? Okay. So I have my what's my object right now, the first part. So let me just change down to something uh maybe galvanized. Okay, then what I'm going to save it as uh part one. Part one enter. Alright, so that is the eye end like that. So I'm going to create uh the second part, which is the most the fork. So a new sketch. I'm going to pick on my YZ plane likewise also. I'm picking a circle of diameter 36 from the origin. Okay, from the same origin, a circle of diameter 72. So listen, if I am too fast with this video, you can actually adjust the speed of the play by clicking on settings right on the video on YouTube. Then look at the play speed. Play speed, you can adjust the play speed if I am too fast for your liking. All right. So thank you. So I'm actually going to extend this line like this. I'm going to extend this line like this okay like this over there okay i'm going to uh draw 
a line from this area like this at the back here okay I'm going to do that I'm going to pick my hidden line from the center right here I'm going to draw it towards the left hand side like this I'm going to click on the hidden line again then I'm going to pick my dimension so with my dimension right now okay with my dimension right now so from this midpoint here to the back here I'm having distance of 147 147 then enter all right that's set to okay so i'm having uh i'm going to produce a line like this here also something like this and from this place something like this all right so uh sorry this dimension here is going to be uh 109 109 that's a mistake for my part 109 all right so 147 plus 147 okay yeah so from this edge here to the back here okay it's going to be 147 147 enter so i'm going to pick my trim com command i'm going to trim this trim the whole of this trim this and this and this and this and this all right i'm going to pick my tangential constraint okay with my tangential constraint this to this okay already there this to this this to this and this to this already there so after doing that uh i'm going to sorry i said direction from here to all the way to the back here is what 147 enter so i shouldn't forget that likewise here to the back is 147 enter so after doing that, I'm going to pick two lines. I'm going to pick a line first of all. I'm going to draw this like this. Then I'm going to draw this also like this. So I'm going to pick my dimension from here to here. A distance of 15. Enter. Then from here to here. A distance of 30. Enter. So I'm going to pick a line also from this midpoint. I'm going to draw like this like this and like this right here i'm going to pick on dimension making this place height of 15 enter all right let me just make this length of 30 since we are not given any length there so then i'm going to finish my sketch so upon finishing my sketch i'm going to pick my extrude okay picking my extrude i'm going to extrude the whole of this and oh sorry 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 let me back it yeah i'm backing it i ought to replicate this towards the bottom so let me just pick my mirror with my mirror i pick this and this i pick mirror line i pick this then what apply and what done okay then what finish sketch okay finishing my sketch i'm going to pick on extrude picking my extrude i pick this 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 and this at a distance of 36 then i'm going to make it symmetric then what okay so i'm going to uh, share my sketch to so share my sketch i'm going to click on uh revolve so with my revolve i pick this and i pick this then i pick axis i pick this then i want okay you can see that so i pick revolve also i pick this i pick axis i pick this then what okay so i'm going to hide the dimensions and the likes okay that's it over there then i'm going to turn it to the back here picking this face creating new sketch picking project geometry clicking on this face pressing ok picking my line then drawing all the way from here down here like this then picking my dimension from here all the way down here is going to be a uh, 45 enter then the height here is going to be 12 enter then i'm going to pick my fillet of radius 12 okay I'm going to pick this to this right here then what finish sketch Do you see that then i'm going to what, pick my what revolve command i'm going to pick this surface right here i'm going to pick select axis i'm going to pick this edge right here i'm going to pick what cut then what okay then i'm going to pick my cylindrical pattern pick this shape right here pick this and pick this then what okay oh sorry then i'm going to insert four instead of six four then what okay 
so that is the production of the second part so i can change down to uh, galvanized also something like this right so then that's going to be my what my part two okay so my part three uh my part three is going to be uh okay let me make the pin as a part three the pin yeah the pin so create sketch pick my yz plane i'm going to pick a line like this picking that line i draw this shape so take note of this shape i'm drawing right now okay like this i pick my dimension i pick this area i do it 45 divided by 2 enter all right i make this area uh that's going to be 15 right here enter so i'm going to make this height of 102 plus 15 enter then i'm going to make this area what 15 enter so having it in that order i have this then i what i finish sketch so finishing my sketch i pick revolve then i pick what this axis then what okay then i pick my origin i pick xyz plane okay i create that so i click on slice graphics i pick my circle coming to the midpoint here i draw a circle of diameter six enter i pick my dimension from the edge to the center of that circle is what is 15 enter then what i finish my sketch i pick my extrude i pick symmetric i pick true all then i pick cut that's it then what okay so i'm going to make this maybe something engine point oh no that's awkward all right let me just make it something galvanized also no voila then what that gives me about what part three and what okay so i'm going to create the fourth part right now okay the part four that's going to be the color the color starts starts to this sketch pick any of the plane i'm going to create circles of diameter 45 and diameter 30 all right then what finish sketch then i'm going to extrude it to the height of what height of 15 i'm going to make it symmetric then what okay all right and i'm going to pick my origin uh yeah something xz plane is better then what create sketch creating my sketch i'm going to click on my slice graphics pick my circle right at the center the circle of diameter six enter finish sketch pick my extrude pick symmetric pick pick through all and pick what cut then what okay i have this so i'm going to make that also galvanized okay that's it that's my part what part four part four all right so i'm going to create my part five right now my part five start to this sketch click any of the plane and that is the the taper pin all right taper pin of diameter six diameter six okay at a length of 60 right then what enter so i have this like this as you can see on the screen right there i have that like that all right so i'm going to save that as part four okay part four enter sorry as part five sorry as part five then what save that is that about that that is that about that so kindly be on the lookout for the uh for the assembly video yeah the assembly video the assembly video all right thank you